Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. Today, three types of automatic transmissions are used in passenger cars. Step type, CVT, and DCT. This video will briefly explain their structure, operation, advantages, and disadvantages. A step type automatic transmission shifts gears by combining a torque converter with multiple planetary gear sets. A torque converter is installed between the engine and shifting mechanism and functions as a torque amplification device or a launch device. Planetary gear sets shift the gear through the combination of three gears. The function of a torque converter can be likened to two electric fans facing each other. A fan generates airflow, and it hits and rotates the blades of the other fan. However, in a torque converter, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, is used as the medium for rotation instead of air. A torque converter consists of, a drive plate rotated by the engine, a torque converter case bolted to the drive plate, a pump impeller integrated with the torque converter case, and a turbine runner rotated by the pump impeller. The inside of the torque converter case is filled with ATF. When the torque converter is rotating, applying brakes to the turbine runner allows it to stop the turbine runner, while the pump impeller continues rotating. This state is referred to as, torque converter is slipping. This feature allows the engine to continue running, while coming to a stop at a red traffic light. The planetary gear performs speed reduction, speed increase, and reversing by combining three elements, the internal gear, the sun gear, and the planetary carrier. For example, by applying a brake to the internal gear to prevent it from rotating and using an electric motor to drive the sun gear, the input rotation speed to the sun gear is reduced and then output through the planetary carrier. When input is applied to the sun gear and a brake is applied to the planetary carrier, the internal gear rotates in reverse. In the case of a four-speed automatic transmission, two planetary gear sets are used. The engine output is transmitted to the rear sun gear via the torque converter, and output from the rear planetary carrier to the wheels. The front planetary carrier is connected to the rear internal gear, and the front internal gear is connected to the rear planetary carrier. At first gear, the front planetary carrier and rear internal gear are fixed to the transmission case to prevent them from rotating. The input from the engine is reduced by the rear planetary gear set and then output from the rear planetary carrier. At second gear, the front sun gear is fixed to the transmission case. Since the rear internal gear rotates, the reduction ratio of the output from the rear planetary carrier is smaller than at first gear. In this way, by changing the combinations of each element, the transmission shifts from first to fourth gear, as well as in reverse. Modern step-type automatic transmissions use three to four sets of planetary gears to enable six to ten speeds. This transmission has the following advantages and disadvantages. By increasing the number of planetary gear sets, it is possible to add more gear stages and widen the gear ratio range. By mechanically locking up the torque converter, a direct acceleration feel and fuel efficiency similar to that of a manual transmission are achieved. Complex structure and high cost. Although significantly reduced in modern step-type automatic transmissions, shift shock can still be felt. CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. It shifts speeds using two sets of pulleys in the metal belt. A torque converter is used for the launch device. The engine rotation is transmitted to the primary pulley, which rotates the secondary pulley via a metal belt, transferring power to the wheels. Some CVT models use a chain instead of a metal belt. Reducing the primary pulley width causes an increase in the effective diameter of the primary pulley and a decrease in the effective diameter of the secondary pulley. This results in a lower reduction ratio, leading to higher rotational speed of the secondary pulley. 
Conversely, increasing the primary pulley width results in a higher reduction ratio, causing a decrease in the rotational speed of the secondary pulley. In other words, a CVT is capable of continuously altering the vehicle speed, while keeping the engine rotational speed constant. In a CVT, frictional force is generated between the cone surface of the pulleys and the side surfaces of the belt. The belt conveys force in the direction it's pushed. To generate this frictional force, a CVT creates high hydraulic pressure to push the pulleys, and clamp the belt between the cone surface of the pulleys. Furthermore, hydraulic pressure is necessary to control the primary pulley width for changing the ratio, and thus a CVT has two separate hydraulic circuits. The hydraulic pressure for clamping the belt is referred to as the line pressure, and the hydraulic pressure for changing the pulley width is referred to as the pulley ratio control pressure. To increase speed, the pulley ratio control pressure is increased, pushing the primary pulley to narrow the pulley width. As the belt is pulled towards the primary pulley side, the width of the secondary pulley is expanded by the belt. To reduce speed, the pulley ratio control pressure is reduced. Because the line pressure narrows the secondary pulley width, the belt is pulled towards the secondary pulley side and the width of the primary pulley is expanded by the belt. This transmission has the following advantages and disadvantages. A CVT can change speeds without any shift shock. Since it can change speeds within the most efficient engine speed range, it offers high fuel efficiency in city driving in similar conditions. It has a simple structure with fewer parts. Compared to gears, which have about 99% transmission efficiency, metal belts are around 90%, which negatively affects fuel efficiency. It requires hydraulic pressure to clamps the metal belt, which negatively impacts fuel efficiency. Because the engine speed and vehicle speed do not match during acceleration, drivers may feel uncomfortable. This phenomenon is often referred to as the rubber band effect. Until the 2010s, some European automakers also used CVTs, but now only Japanese automakers use them. DCT stands for Dual Clutch Transmission, a transmission that combines a gear shifting mechanism similar to that of a manual transmission, with two electronically controlled clutches. The engine rotation is transmitted to the two clutches via the input shaft. Single plate clutches were used in the past, but now hydraulic multi plate clutches are used. The odd gear clutch engages and disengages the engine in the odd gear shaft. The even gear clutch engages and disengages the engine in the even gear shaft. The gears on the odd gear shaft mesh with the odd numbered gears on the output shaft, while the gears on the even gear shaft mesh with the even numbered gears on the output shaft. The gears on the output shaft are not constantly engaged with the output shaft. They are engaged by the shift motor only during the gear is selected. In neutral, the gears are not engaged with the output shaft, so the engine rotation is not transmitted. In first gear, the first gear engages with the output shaft. At the same time, the second gear also engages with the output shaft. When the driver depresses the accelerator pedal, the odd gear clutch engages. The engine rotation is transmitted in sequence through the odd gear clutch, the odd gear shaft, the first gear, and then the output shaft. When shifting to second gear, the odd gear clutch is disengaged while the even gear clutch is engaged simultaneously. Since the second gear and the output shaft are already engaged, the shift is completed instantly. At this time, the third gear is engaged with the output shaft. In this state, Disengaging the even gear clutch, while simultaneously engaging the odd gear clutch will shift it to third gear. Once shifted to third gear, the fourth gear is engaged with the output shaft, preparing for a shift to fourth gear. In this way, a DCT shifts by pre-engaging the gear that is anticipated to shift next, and then switching the disengage and engage of the two sets of clutches. This transmission has the following advantages and disadvantages direct acceleration feel, and good fuel efficiency, similar to a manual transmission. A short shift time of approximately half a seconds. 
Jerkiness may occur during low-speed driving. DCTs were once widely used in many models, primarily by European automakers. But today, they are only found in a few mass production manufacturers like the Volkswagen Group, as well as high-performance sports cars such as Ferrari and Porsche. Up until now, we have briefly learned about automatic transmissions, but this channel has prepared a more detailed videos explaining it further. If you are interested in them, please take a look. The links are in the description. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.